Welcome to An Evening in the Upstate with the Roman Catholic Diocese of Charleston. Your co-hostesses for this evening are Bree Merritt and Vivian Tran. Good evening and Merry Christmas. I'm Bree Merritt. And I am Vivian Tran. Thank you all for joining us tonight for An Evening in the Upstate with the Roman Catholic Diocese of Charleston. We are here at St. Anthony of Padua Catholic Church, which is located in the west end of Greenville. We have a wonderful program in store for you tonight. Reverend Patrick Tuttle, pastor of this church, will share his traditional Christmas story, I Wish I Were a Goose. And the most Reverend Robert E. Guglielmoni, Bishop of Charleston, will deliver his Christmas message from Charleston. Following the Bishop message, we will take you to Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic Church in Greenville for a performance by their school choir. We also will hear from the very Reverend J. Scott Newman, a visiting priest, Reverend Fernand Sherry, the St. Anthony of Padua, Mix It Choir, and much, much more. Christmas is in the air, and I can tell by the sound of the excitement of the children out here now. The sound of those little voices means that it's time for our Christmas, Christmas story. story. <laughs> Very exciting. Our storyteller is Franciscan Friar Patrick Tuttle. He's known around here as Father Pat. The name of the story Father Pat will share is, I Wish I Were a Goose. This is not only one of my favorite Christmas stories, but the story has become a holiday tradition at the Christmas Mass here at St. Anthony of Padua Catholic Church. After you hear it, perhaps it will become one of your favorite as it has become one of mine. Enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a family that lived on a farm. And the family living on the farm experienced a difficult winter. It was such a difficult winter that the snow was not only falling like this, it was blowing. <laughs> just blowing by, whew, making big drifts. And it was Christmas Eve, and the mother of the family said to the father of the family, honey, we need to get ready to go to church. And he said, well, the storm is kind of rough out there. I think I might stay home and take care of the farm while you go to the church with the children. And she said, oh, honey, I really would like it if we could all be together as a family in church. He said, yes, yes, I know, but the storm is very bad, and I think I should keep the lights on and the heat on and the fire going because the storm is very bad. She said, okay. So she got the children all dressed up, and they went off to the church. Well, that father was sitting at home, tending the fire and trying to keep the home warm. And do you know he began to hear the strangest thing in the world? All of a sudden he heard And he wondered what that was. And he went to the door and he opened up the door and that snow was just blowing by like that. Just blowing and blowing. And he could barely see anything but he could hear something. Honk, 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 honk. It was geese. They were flying in the blizzard, but they were blind, they couldn't see, and they were actually hitting the side of the barn. And some of them were hitting and dying, and he was thinking, oh, this is awful. Christmas night and all these geese are flying into the barn. I must do something. And he went, got his clothes on, and he went out to the barn, and he opened up the doors of the barn, and he turned the light on. And he thought, surely the geese will see the light, and they'll come in out of the storm. But you know, honk, honk, those geese didn't see the light. And they kept hitting the side of the barn. This is terrible, this is terrible. And he ran into the house and he got some of his wife's fresh baked bread. And he thought, this is great, they'll definitely smell this. And so he laid out the bread. He broke the bread and he laid it out in a line to the light. And when he broke the bread and laid it out, he was sure the geese would come and find the bread. But did they find that bread? Oh my gosh, they kept hitting the side of the barn. It was awful. He was thinking, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, when my wife and children come home, all these geese are going to be dying inside of the barn. This is awful. And he thought, oh my gosh, if only I could become a goose, then I could honk and lead them to the bread and to the light. If only I could become a goose, I could lead them. Do you know that's exactly what God thought? when he said, if only I could become a man and lead them to the bread and to the light. Do you know of anybody who became a man like that? Did God become a man? Uh -huh. Who? Jesus. Yes. And that's the reason why we tell this story, 
Because just like the geese, we can be flopping around sometimes and we don't know what to do and life hurts and, and, and the blizzard is too rough. We can't really see well and we need the light and we need the bread and we need to be guided. And so God sent us his son in the middle of the darkness, in the middle of the cold to lead us to the light of his father's love. And when we follow, kind of like our head goose, Jesus, we're safe and with God forever. And the storm won't hurt us. What did you think of the story? Do you understand now why God would become a man? Yes. To help us, right? To lead us. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Well, I'm hoping that you can also help God by living a good life and leading people to God. Because they're in a storm, really. Just like that. But with your help and my help, we can bring them where they need to be. God working through us. Amen? Amen. That story is so cool and has a yeah. great message. Awesome story. Now it's time for a Christmas message from the Most Reverend Robert E. Guglielmoni. The Holy Father Emeritus, Pope Benedict XVI, appointed Bishop Guglielmoni as spiritual leader of the Diocese of Charleston in 2009. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Charleston is comprised of the entire state of South Carolina, in which there are 118 parishes, missions, and pastoral centers three Catholic hospitals, an assisted living facility, and five Catholic charity centers across the state. And now we will take you to Charleston for our Bishop's Christmas message. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. These words of the beautiful Angelus prayer came to pass with the birth of the Son of God in a stable located in the town of Bethlehem. The parents were poor. There was no possibility of housing and the newborn baby was laid in a manger because there was no place else for him to sleep. The story of this humble birth continues to produce a sense of wonder and awe in the minds and hearts of millions of people throughout the world. Why such a response? I believe that it is because people are living in hope of and longing for a world filled with love. There are so many ways that love seems to be available these days, but what so many in contemporary society present as love is really not love at all. Our society creates a false hope that often leads to frustration anxiety, and sometimes even despair. People who have accepted this false notion of love many times fall prey to addiction and emotional distress, which may lead to devastating results. The celebration of Christmas causes us to reflect on what really matters in life, and our faith is focused on God's promise of a better world and a better sense of our dignity as children of God. This promise is fulfilled not on some unreachable dream or some distant philosophy, but on a person who changed the course of world events and continues to do so even in our own time. Jesus is active in our lives through his word, his sacraments, his people, specifically the church. We have seen the action of Christ recently in very strong ways in his vicar on earth, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who gives us a beautiful example of Christ present in our midst. Francis calls to birth over and over this Jesus, both in his own actions and in the challenges that he offers to us and to the church and to all God's people throughout the world. Accepting Jesus and trying to live the life he offers us with his grace is the only way that we can find meaning in the celebration of Christmas. It is with faith in him and hope in all that he promises that we can find and experience the love that we all seek so desperately. May you, the people of this wonderful Diocese of Charleston, 
experience this love and peace this Christmas season. A blessed Christmas to you all.